Hello there, welcome back. Welcome to automationtalks.com. Myself, Pratas Nalkari, and in this video, I am going to talk about how to deploy a Selenium grid on Google Cloud. That is with the help of Docker container. Okay. So if you have gone through my earlier uh, video series where I talked about CI/CD for automation testers, in that I have explained, okay, how can we uh, execute our test cases on Docker? How we can view the execution results via VLC server and all all other stuff. Okay. So let's go one step further and let us try deploying the same uh, stuff onto Google Cloud and then try connecting the Google Cloud from uh, the the grid uh, which is installed on Google Cloud from our local machine and then executing the test case over there and get the results in my local machine. Okay, so whenever we write our Selenium test cases, okay, so what we do normally is uh, we execute them. Uh, mostly we execute them on Selenium grid. Okay, so the Selenium grid could be installed in our uh, uh, in your organization. I'll call it as a in premises. In premises. Okay, uh, they, they might have separate team who is working on grid and they have configured Selenium grid or you may have uh, a couple of machines extra configured for, for your team for your department or something like that where you are going to call configure grid and you are trying to execute your test cases in parallel. Okay, the other approaches are some cloud cloud hosted solution. Uh, cloud hosted solutions like uh, there are many right so we have something called as cross browser testing or we have something like sauce lab or we have like we have many more right uh, browser stack and many more okay so but they are paid right and they, they charge little higher right so can we do something like okay if i do not have grid in my uh, in, in premises or basically i don't want to spend that much cost on my infra setting the infrastructure right so can i host the same grid on uh, some cloud provider okay so nowadays every organization is moving on to cloud right so it can be your aws could be azure could be gcp and ns stuff right so can i can i host my grid on gcp so this time i'm going to show you the demo how can we host our selenium grid on google cloud platform okay and that is via uh, docker Okay, so we are going we are basically going to pull the docker images onto google cloud and then we are going to execute right so let's get started okay so the very first step uh, is we need to create the vm instance okay virtual machine instance okay so you should have a valid um, gcp account google cloud platform account okay so i'm just uh, logging into my account which i have created on google cloud platform Okay, so my very first step is I want to create the virtual machine instance, and here I am going to use Ubuntu. Okay, so so let's go and create the VM instance. Okay, so I have I am on this uh, Google Cloud Platform dashboard basically. So here I find many information like what is my current project, okay, what and all the resources I am using, uh, what's the statistics for App Engine, and some billing and other 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 stuff. Okay. So how to create the VM now? Okay, the virtual machine basically. So here, uh, the menu basically navigation menu. Into the navigation menu, you need to search for uh, compute engine basically where we can create the VM instances. So let's go and create VM instances. Okay, so yeah, so. It will it will show you the list of VM instances basically if you have any I do not have any VM instance so I'm going to create new okay let me rename the VM instance as let us say um, you, you can give any meaningful name okay so I'll say you Ubuntu one okay could be any meaningful name then the region you can select the any nearest location basically to you so I'm selecting Mumbai and uh, zone is could be anything and what else i need okay what kind of uh, infrastructure basically you need so i'm basically fine with this one cpu or let me select this two cpu should be fine now what kind of os we want we want uh, boot disk basically here so by default it selects this linux 9 so i want to change it and i want um, ubuntu i'll just scroll it down here till i find ubuntu Yeah, here. So I'll go with version some stable version 18.04, long stable version. 
and uh, whatever this disk type you want size is 10 GB is enough for me okay so I'm going to click on select okay and uh, what else okay uh, just check this allow HTTP and HTTPS traffic uh, it will um, easy for us to communicate with uh, this particular OS okay uh, particular VM instance basically let's click on create and it will basically create a new VM instance for you okay so it will take a minute basically a minute or couple of minutes so I'll just pause the video okay now my VM instance is created it was basically created in 30 seconds so the VM instance you see it is ready and uh, you see the VM instance is running and here you see two things internal IP and external IP so if if I want to communicate with this particular VM instance uh, within this particular account uh, my Google platform project or Google platform Google cloud platform account then I can use this specific internal IP but if I want to communicate with this particular VM externally then I can use this specific IP okay now how to connect how, how to work with this okay so what next what are next step basically so we need to create a firewall rule to export our port double four double four because uh, you must be aware that selenium uh, server by default start at double four double four port right and I need to allow the IP so you see three dots over here okay and then go to network details let it load okay so here you see uh, firewall rules something like firewall rules and uh, let me create a new firewall rule basically so I'll go to firewall rules and I can create a new firewall rule okay or even I have the old firewall rule okay or let me create a new new firewall rule and I'll name the rule as let us say selenium rule 1 Okay, and uh, just the description and what kind of network it is default fine priority it should be in between whatever range it says 0 to this number and uh, what else uh, okay so I just want I, I, I want to tell uh, what what source IP can communicate with right so if I give like 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.0 slash 0 that means any IP can communicate with my this particular VM instance okay but if you want to just communicate your VM uh, with some specific IP maybe for someone from your organization so, or maybe some list from your organization then you can provide that specific IP range over here right and what port you want to allow okay so basically I want this TCP port and double four double four to be allowed or maybe what I can do is I can just select apply all allow all so that it will allow all the uh, uh, what I can say ports on this specific IP but here I am selecting 0 that means any IP so that I can communicate from anywhere but in real time you should have some range of IP could be from your organization so that only someone from your organization should be able to connect within your project or maybe from your specific IP range which is apply uh, which is applicable for to your project or your department could be, could be any way okay so let's create and what it says at least one tag is required Okay, so Ubuntu one. Okay, create, and it is going to create a rule for me. Yes. So why we created the rule? You know, because by default the Selenium server starts at double four double four port, and I should be able to communicate with my particular VM instance where I am going to deploy my. Uh, Selenium grid basically okay so that's the basically the part one where I have created the VM instance and now I have exported the port double four double four where by default Selenium server starts so step one we are done now let's move to step two we need to install the docker where we need to install the docker onto my this specific uh, VM instance okay so how to go to VM instance go to compute engine go to VM instances in your case you may not you may not find this compute instance or compute engine over here you need you might need to scroll little down okay in my case since I have added it bookmark so I am finding over here I'll go to VM instance and now on this specific VM instance I want to install docker okay so how to uh, basically interact with this VM instance here we have different ways so we can use it in browser you can use a G cloud or we can use 
another SSH client could be like your putty. Okay, so I'll simply open it in window. Okay, so that it will open uh, the command line interface for this specific Google Cloud platform into this specific window, right? And with the help of that, I'm going to install Docker. Now, steps to install Docker you can find on this specific link. I'm going to put it in command, but here I have listed all the steps basically from the same link. Okay, so the very first step update our uh, Ubuntu. Okay, so now you see the command prompt basically. Now I'm going to do sudo apt-get update and this is going to download the updates. Okay, meanwhile it download update the second step uninstalled old versions of docker, right? So this is not necessary if you are doing the doing it first time, but if you are doing it like second time on the same VM, then that is necessary. But let me do that. Okay, so that's fine. And next, how to install the docker? So to install docker we have the command like sudo apt install docker io okay let me use it quickly and this is going to install docker into my uh, vm okay so it will take a while now next once the docker is installed right now the concept should be clear why we are installing docker so i cannot install directly selenium grid onto my vm instance so i'm taking help i'm taking help of docker on the docker i am going to install my uh, selenium grid and then to that specific docker i am going to communicate with the help of external ip okay now next start and uh, automate the docker so we need to use this command called uh, start to start my docker onto this specific vm okay sudo and whatever systems this uh, ctl start docker it is going to start the docker and we need to enable the docker using the specific command Okay, now yeah, so Docker is enabled now. So that's it. I have installed the Docker, and now I can check the version of the Docker. What version of Docker I have installed using Docker hyphen hyphen version, so that I can get to know that okay, Docker is installed correctly onto my machine. Okay, so that's it. I have installed the Docker uh, version eighteen dot zero nine dot seven. And whatever build it says okay so now I am done with step 2 okay first is creation of VM and then on the VM which I have created I have installed the docker right now my the third step is how to create a docker compose uh, using dot yml file in which we are going to specify what kind of uh, um, images you want basically we want selenium image we want uh, basically selenium hub image then we want Firefox, then we want Chrome and all other stuff, right? So we'll see that. Okay, so I'll continue it in next video.